you see a world of uh, uh, inequality in which uh, uh, you, s you have uh, Europe uh, as uh, the center of uh, accumulation of wealth and power uh, and the rest of the world being uh, uh, progressively submitted to its rule. Africa's poverty has deep roots. The slave trade devastated societies and devastated the continent. Africa stood out with the intense poverty, with the lack of infrastructure, uh, with the massive disease burden. It's a busy market and you are selling cloth. People are paying you in beautiful shells. These are what you have used for centuries as money. Every time you sell a garment, you put more shells in your jar. Then the colonial police arrive. They don't like your money. Carry shells, for example, was an important form of currency. It was one of the local currencies that colonial governments tried to make illegal. So irrespective of how wealthy you were, and if you dealt in trade, you dealt in textiles, or you were a former slave owner or whatever, you had loads of carry shells, you found out that it had become rubbish, essentially overnight. The whole of the European imperial project was about creating an international global system that, in economic terms, creates the poor. And that is the origin of that notion of the third world. Look, your skin has turned a shade of brown. You are in a camp somewhere else. A month ago, you were a starving Indian farmer. But now, you are a starving forced labor. Plus, you have cholera, which is bad news. A train goes past on the new railway built by the British. A cloud floats off it. A cloud of wheat. Something to eat. You realize the train is full of grain destined for export. Poverty is the worst form of violence. The 1876 Southern Indian Famine was, in part, an issue of simple bad weather. There was a harvest failure, but it didn't need to be a famine. You had a situation where people were starving and still exporting grain. A lot of Southern Indian grain was being shipped as far away as, as Britain. Huge amounts of food were shipped out of India that could have fed the six to 10 million um, people who eventually died. 